Hi, I'm Dr. Alana Maklik, and we're gonna answer some of the frequently asked questions about Invisalign today. So the best thing about Invisalign is that you can eat whatever you want because every time you take your, uh, every time you go to eat, you're gonna take your liners out. So you can eat anything. So where with um, traditional braces, you can't eat tradition, you can't eat gum, you can't eat pizza or anything really hard or crunchy because you might break that bracket off. What's really great about Invisalign is you can eat whatever you want to. Anything you eat today, you can eat while you're in Invisalign. So obviously it's kind of yucky to eat with your trays in, but you can eat with your trays in too. Um, ideally you're not eating or drinking anything aside from water with your trays in. Um, if you um, if you do, I would recommend, you know, brushing your teeth as soon as you can, take your trays out, brush your teeth. The other thing would be take your trays out, eat or drink whatever you like to. If you can't brush your teeth right away, pop your trays in. When you can get to the, the bathroom or sink or toothbrush or whatever, then you can brush and put your trays back in. So if you have traditional braces and you're wanting Invisalign, it's a little bit tricky because can you switch over? Sure, you can. You'd have to go back to your orthodontist and get all your brackets and everything taken off. And then we could look at getting Invisalign. Unfortunately, there'd be a cost with that, but absolutely, if that's something you decide, man, I just can't do this any longer, we can absolutely switch over. So at first, having anything new is gonna feel a little bit different. And uh, what we recommend is for patients to, you know, really practice the first couple weeks, like talking and, and enunciating their words and really just practice talking. Um, talk out loud, read a book out loud, you know, talk to yourself, you know, in the car or something like that, in the shower, whatever. And that way you're able to get to the point where it feels more normal and you're able to talk like you normally would. But it does take a little bit of, of getting used to, just like anything new. So keeping your trays clean, um, the one of the best things about Invisalign is that every two weeks you get new aligners. And so even if your trays get a little bit funky, you're not the best at, at keeping them clean, in two weeks you'll get some new ones, which is really great. Um, but keeping them clean on a regular basis, uh, every time you take your trays out to brush your teeth, you'll brush your teeth and then you'll just kind of brush those aligners off with your toothbrush, what's left on your on your toothbrush with the toothpaste. Rinse them off and pop them back in. That's the best way to keep them clean throughout the day. If you really are self-conscious about how yucky the trays are, that's where I wouldn't really eat with those, um, with those trays in because that's going to make them a little bit funny smelling tasting um, but um, yeah you, you can uh, you can also soak them in hydrogen peroxide Invisalign makes cleaning crystals that you can soak those in for about 20 minutes uh, before you pop those back in so that can really help make your trays feel nice and fresh again So the average cost for any orthodontics is about the same, whether it's traditional braces or Invisalign, any doctor led treatment is gonna be, in our area, is between five to $6,000. That's a good average. Um, if you start looking at, you know, the take home options, you've got, you know, you'll, you'll get less expensive options. Unfortunately, it's just not the same technology that's there. Um, you'll see uh, uh, it's completely discounted because you're not getting that doctor led treatment. You're your orthodontist now. You're the one that's directing your care. Yeah, it is a big investment, um, but the goal is to set you up for healthier, straighter teeth. And so if we get your teeth aligned in the, in the right position, then we're staying in those retainers for life. And then our goal is that we never have to do that again. And then we get straighter, healthier teeth for a lifetime. So it's a lifelong investment. Uh, Invisalign isn't really uncomfortable. What you may notice is that your teeth feel a little bit tight or a little bit, um, maybe a little loose, but really shouldn't be anything painful. When you first put your trays in, we, they recommend that you put them in at nighttime. 
And so we get that full, hopefully eight hours of, of wear right at first. And then when you wake up in the morning, if your teeth are a little bit sore that first day, you can take some ibuprofen, but it's nothing that's really gonna be painful for you. Yeah, if you have any restorations in your mouth, uh, Invisalign works around those. Um, and so that's, it's not a, not a, not a problem. Uh, sometimes if we have a bridge or crowns or veneers, um, it limits our treatment a little bit. So if we're looking at getting crowns or veneers, uh, we may want to do those after Invisalign if we don't have them already, but it doesn't, it's not a problem. We can absolutely work with that. So um, Invisalign and traditional braces in particular are doctor-led treatment. If you do something online, you are becoming the doctor yourself. So you're the one in charge of, of your teeth and making sure that your teeth line up the way that they're supposed to. Do you know how your teeth are supposed to line up? That would be the, the biggest issue. Yeah, you can tell if they're straight, but just because they're straight doesn't mean that they function the way that they're supposed to. A big advantage of Invisalign is that we're actually making your bite function the way it's supposed to, not just making it straighter. Um, so the, the, the biggest concern for me is, are your teeth gonna function the way that they're supposed to? And then two, if they're moving teeth, like the teeth can have to be in bone. Are they moving teeth outside of the bone? And how would you know if they were? All right, hopefully that answered any questions you may have had. If you have any additional questions, please give our office a call today so we can answer them either on phone or we'd love to see you in person.